in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can get your international passport in nigeria as a nigerian citizen in a few easy simple steps so but before i get started please make sure to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell of this channel so that once you release another informative and educative video like this one you'll be notified just hit the subscribe button it doesn't cost much once you hit the subscribe button we are good so let's get started so before i delve deep into letting you know everything you need to acquire this passport you need to understand that there are three types of passports number one is the diplomatic passport number two is the official passport and the last one is the standard passport so the diplomatic passports are the ones you need as a government official so if you're not a government official i don't think you need the diplomatic passport so the number two is the official passport these passports are issued only to people who are representing nigeria in a particular thing or the other internationally so if you're not representing nigeria in anything you don't need that particular passport either so the last one is the standard passport the one you need as a citizen of nigeria so if you are going to study abroad going for a business trip going for a pleasure trip any kind of trip you are going ab abroad you need that particular passport which is the standard passport and that is what i'm also holding here so so how do you get this passport before you get this passport there are some documents that will be required from you so these documents are the documents you will take with you to the immigration office where you will do the registration of your passport so how what are these documents i'm talking about the list of these documents are as follows So if you've gotten all those documents, as I just listed it there, then you are done with the first stage. The second stage is knowing the kind of passport you want. I mean, when it comes to standard passport, there are two kind of passport, which is the 32 pages and the 64 pages passport. Now, I know you might be wondering, what is the difference between the 32 pages and the 64 pages? Well, there is no much difference. The only difference there is the pages, as, as it's been said. So, the 64 pages is for those who are frequent travelers. If you are a frequent traveler who are always on a business trip, frequently traveling from one country or the other, then you need the 64 pages. Or you are, if you are just a one-time traveler or you are trying to travel for the first time, I recommend you to use the 32 pages because it is very affordable and also the, the best you can do as a first-time traveler or someone who doesn't travel frequently. So the 32 pages is the best for you. Now that you've gotten your, your requirement, the document required of you by the immigration office, and then the kind of passport you need, then the next thing you need to know is the pricing. I mean, the prices of this passport, because you need to pay in order to start your registration and obtain your passport as soon as possible. So what's the pricing all about? When it comes to the amounts you need to pay, before the whole process of your passport can begin, it varies according to the pages of the passport you want to acquire. If you want to acquire 32 pages passport, you should be budgeting 50K. Yes, 50K. This is the amount you will need to use to get it as of 2023. I don't know if we change anytime soon, but according to the time I got my own, it was 50,000 Naira. So if you are going for the 64 pages passport you should be budgeting 120,000 naira 100 to 120,000 naira because that's how it is so whichever way just know that this is the price to acquire those passports now that you've gotten your money and the required documents ready to process your passport so the next thing you need to do is to locate any immigration office near you there are so many immigration offices in Nigeria, in every state. So locate the one near you and then head on straight to the place to do your registration. 
once you are done with your registration the next thing they will tell you is to come back in the next day or two for capturing an interview so during the day of that capturing an interview you will be asked question based on the document you submitted so what the reason why they are asking you those questions is to be sure if you are the owner of this passport ready to be processed or you are just impersonating another person so that's the reason they are asking you those questions so after those questions which is the interview then you will head on to the place where you will be captured and then do the complete registration so after that complete registration then they will give you another paper after you've done the complete registration you will also do some printing and then signing your signature so well that one is very very easy to do so once they have done it then they will give you uh, a, a, a piece of paper. That piece of paper mostly contains the, the date you captured, which is that particular day that you captured. And that piece of paper given to you during this period of capturing is what you will use as an evidence when you are coming to collect your passport after everything has been done. So after that, the, the person that captured you and did the registration for you will tell you how many days or weeks you will stay before you come back to get your passport mostly the passport doesn't take long sometimes it usually takes um six weeks sometimes two weeks i don't know how they do it but during the time i did my own it took six weeks before i could get my passport so but it doesn't take long so once the day reach just make sure you go to that immigration office that particular place where you did your whole registration so once you reach there, tell them that you, you are here to collect your passport. So once you tell them that you're here to collect your passport, they will check for your file. And once they see your file, you will have to write some things. I mean, register some things to show that you've already collected your passport on that day. So once you collect it, boom, your passport is ready, just like mine here. So that is all, very simple, just very simple to get. So I hope you, you learned something in this video. So before we go, please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell on this video so that once we release another informative video like this one, you'll be notified. Please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost a dime. It doesn't cost any money. Just click the subscribe button and then... Thank you very much. That's all. Bye for now.